death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Welcome, you're watching Headset VR, welcome to the channel, welcome to another gaming video. Today I'm playing a game from 2018, it's Don't Nod's Vampire, and I'm going to be using UE VR to get this game playing into VR itself. Now, I'm using an RX 6600 XT GPU, a Ryzen 9 3900 X CPU, and I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and we're using a Quest 3 headset with the official Oculus Link. Now, I've had a lot of requests for the profile for this game, so I'm just going to do a little short setup slash testing guide. So I'm going to see if I can get a few other things squeezed out of this to make it a little bit more immersive, but otherwise, first of all, I'll show you how I've got this set up using UEVR. Now, I am going to be using the nightly version of UEVR, so do make sure you've got the latest version. There'll be a link in the description for that. And if you have any issues with finding the profile, now I'm going to upload the pro profile in the flat to vr Discord. So all you do to join the flat to vr Discord is put this link that's going to be in the description into Google, hit the enter key, now it's going to send me an invite and it will find me straight into Discord but it should give you an invite, you click Dis continue to Discord and then from there in the channel itself you can use the settings to uh, make sure you've joined the channels and the channel that you're looking to join is the Unreal Engine VR it'll show you a few other bits in there like some videos but that's where you'll find the profile for Vampire, which I'm going to post shortly after this video. I will put a link for the Discord channel in the description. So once you've joined, you can just click on that link and it'll take you straight to this channel just here. Back to the game. So let's get this injected into UEVR. So what you do is make sure you've got the latest version of UEVR. And if I just show you from scratch... Use a UEVR nightly, double click on the application, restart as administrator, and then in this little down arrow here, find the game which is just there. Now I've already got my config already pre saved in here, so what you would do is click import and then you find your config. So let's just go to a random config that I've got, say, for something else. And let's say we go to Back for Blood, and then you would hit the open button. A little window will pop up that looks similar to this. 
you minimise that, and then when you're in the game, pass the pass the menu stage and actually physic. When you pass the menu stage and physically in the game, you hit the inject button. Now this will auto pause when you tab out of the game, so you can just inject on the menu here. And as you can see, UEVR will start injecting. Please do first of all make sure that you have your headset turned on and if you have a quest obviously make sure you have link enabled. Now I do have a few keybinds set in this game and they will just be to generically center views and what I'm also going to do is toggle 2D screen mode which is good for cutscenes. I'll also have toggle in-game UI and also disable VR which also comes in handy for cutscenes too and if you go into config and disable your object hook and there you go right so let me get into the game and as you can see it's popped me straight into first person now I don't want to be using now I don't want to be using mouse and keyboard for this here so I do apologize if this looks a little bit wobbly let me just this this is VR and obviously you're not going to keep your head perfectly still but do make sure you've got decouple pitch enabled now I'm going to be using a gamepad here because we're not going to be able to achieve six stuff now, just so you know, although it may look a little wobbly perhaps on screen, it is perfectly still in the headset, and it looks absolutely amazing in the headset it does. Right, so as I've mentioned with the keybinds, if you set your standing height, standing origin, recenter view, and recenter horizon, make sure you always do those. Can we get rummaging in that bin just there, can we? Right, I think I've got UI disabled. There we go. I've got the UI back on there so I can see the UI. Now, if in your headset you're not happy with how far away the UI is, if you go to runtime and you can mess about with these sliders here so it shows the distance of the UI in game, basically, and it makes things a little bit easier. Okay, let's have a little look at the map. Right, so I'm going to head to that little head as such. So we're going to head to that location and find, see if we can find the lost wallet. Now this is only going to be a brief video. I just want to show you what I'd actually done in this. We're not going to play this with, um, like I say, six off because I'm not really sure whether it's really achievable, and I don't want to spend loads of tra time trying to achieve it when it's probably not going to work with the way the game works. Now, what we can do is just to show you as well where's the inventory all, all the menus work perfectly in the headset they're not no distortion or anything like that but you can see your weapons so these are all the weapons you've got we've got a couple of guns here as well if we wish but I'm just going to use this common machete for now looks like quite early on in the game here so let's I think I showed off a bit of combat before right so we're gonna go and get that asshole there. Oh, there's two of them. Let's see if we can lynch them. And I've been nailed. Okay, right, so I'm back here. Now, that's a little bit tricky there in first person so close. So if you do want to play this in third person, you can do that. So let's just disable your object hook. 
and we can see that we're in third person here. So it is a little bit tricky, I'll be honest, when you can see from such a close perspective and you can't really see what's behind you and you don't know where you're dodging to. So let's just change into third person and let's see how we get on in third person. Now one thing I am going to do is I don't really think head HMD really does any benefit. So we're just going to change this to game and leave that like that. I mean there's nothing we can really aim at with the head anyway. Right, so let's creep up on this asshole. Well, well, that was a bit close. Now it looks like I can change back into first person again by re enabling your object hook. I mean, I find it far more immersive in first person, but it is a little bit disorientating when you're in combat and you can't see what's around you. Especially when you've got the view settings at the highest possible. Right, so it seems I've picked up um, and completed that mission now. So let's just have a little investigate. So my advice, if you're going to play this, I mean, you can play it first person, but you can just use your object hook to change the combat into third person. It's not so bad if you've only got one enemy, but if you've got multiple enemies, it's going to be pretty damn tricky with multiple enemies. Right, well, this video is only going to be quite short. I've uh, managed to scrape through somehow just about with the combat. But if uh, it is a game that you're interested in playing in VR, it is very good in VR. You know, there's not really many vampire games in VR. But like I said, I'm using a gamepad. I'm sure you can use mouse and keyboard too. Although I'm not keen on mouse and keyboard. You can probably use the... Motion controllers also. Personally I find gamepad a little bit a little bit more straightforward because the way the controls are tied to well the attacks are tied to different hands. But anyway, this is how you get to play Vampire in first person or third person using UEVR. So if this video has been of help, then please do give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more VR related content like Vampire or other games, there's a load of games that we've got coming out on the channel soon, then please subscribe. You'll see every video when it gets uploaded. Now I have had a lot of requests from people to upload this profile so I will be doing that into the discord channel shortly and if you've got any comments or any questions that you want to ask or any technical tips I mean you can ask me I'm not the most technically gifted but you know I will do my best otherwise I've shown you how to get to the flat to VR discord that will probably be your best bet realistically they'll give you um, all the help they can but otherwise, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. 
And like I said, I know this has been short, but I hope this does improve or help enjoy your experience of Vampire in VR. It is a great game in VR, and in fact, I will probably might play a little bit more of this one of the days. But anyway, thanks for watching. Look out for more VR-related content soon, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.